Hi, I'm Alice. And I'm Greg. We're punk expats in Mexico, and today we are apartment hunting. We're going to walk around Coyoacan, which is our number one place. So come with us. Come with us. We'll check it out together. I'm looking for an apartment. It's a lot like dating, online dating, because what you see isn't always what you get. So we're walking through Coyoacan today, apartment hunting. One of the things you'll notice is that there are a lot of old colonial buildings and this place actually has pre-colonial roots. Uh, it is the place where the Spaniards came and they kind of headquartered here while they were planning their invasion of Tenochtitlan. And uh, aside from those very early influences, it's got other influences as well. Right. Coyoacan is also famous as the home of Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera. So we're not going to be doing the touristy thing and taking you to the Casa Azul today. You can do that on your own, but it's right around here where we are apartment hunting. Most people in Mexico are not yet vaccinated, which is why you'll only see us take our masks off if we're addressing the camera. And then when there's nobody else around. So we're trying to be respectful, but also realize that it's very hard for you to hear what we're saying when we have our masks right. on. So we're putting them back on and walking you through the city. Both Alice and I love the bold use of color that you see throughout Coyoacan. It's one of the reasons we fell in love with this area. dogs in the background um, and that's okay I like the sound of dogs <laughs> uh, we are looking at an apartment here it's a quiet neighborhood I like that there's a lot of little shops that are tucked away here and there between the residential um, between the residences it's you know there's a guy there delivering food on a bicycle and uh, there's a there's a good-looking panaderia and a vegetarian restaurant and there's all kinds of cool stuff around here so keep your fingers crossed for us this is the first one today but we've been kissing a lot of frogs so we hope we find the right one for us sometime soon we stopped in for a bite to eat at a place in a mercado called la cocina de mi mama looking forward to eating here Water. Never seen it before. It's called Alameda. It says Pureza Mexicana. One of the areas that interests us is Del Valle. Today we're in Del Valle Sur and we like this area because not only are there green spaces, yeah, there's a park nearby where you can see runners and people doing all kinds of exercise. There's also, it's also really close to big streets and uh, easily accessible transportation. Not only do all the buses pass by here, but you have a metro nearby. Um, one day, Greg and I had gone downtown and we wanted to come back on the metro because traffic in a car was really ridiculous. It took us, a, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes to get there. And we knew that coming back home on the metro would save us a lot of time and heartache. But we weren't sure how to get back. And the one thing that I remembered was this panaderia with a cute little elephant. And I knew that it was right across the street from the, this metro station. So um, knowing your landmarks really helps, especially if they're delicious landmarks that are easy to, uh, to remember. And for me, every panaderia is easy to remember. Uh, another thing we like about this area is that there are a lot of shops. So if we need to go to the market, if we need something from a department store, we can just walk there, you can just Take a, a nice long walk. We've been getting a lot of exercise lately. Noche Buena is another area that has a very interesting mix of colonial 
and modern. It's got these really cool pockets of old buildings and gardens that make it feel like you've stepped back in time, but you're really just streets away from some of the most modern areas in the city. Here's one of the little um, parks, centros in the middle of Noche Buena that you can see is surrounded by colonial architecture and those beautifully colored buildings that we just love. Just a few steps away from this area is a huge park called Parque Hundido or the Sunken Park. It has another name, but everybody calls it Parque Hundido. I think of it as dog park because we were completely surrounded by pups everywhere we went. Um, there are people exercising and playing and picnicking and playing music. This is a drum circle happening here. Um, and it's also really well situated to catch the metro bus. Look at that triple bus. This street sign for Parque Hundido in Benito Juarez has been pasted over with the name of Comandanta Ramona, who was an officer in the Zapatista Army, a revolutionary indigenous organization based in Chiapas. Likewise, the designations of the Colonia and Delegacion have been modified to Colonia Las Calles Son Nuestras, which means the streets are ours, and Delegacion No Te Calles, which means don't be quiet, which is also a pun of the word calles, meaning streets. So it's a bit of political street art. From Parque Hundido, we took two very crowded metro rides to Santa Maria La Rivera, which is where this beautiful Kiosco Morisco is. As a photographer, I wanted to spend hours inside the Kiosco, just admiring the detail, the symmetry, the glass dome, allowing the natural light to flood into the Kiosco. The amount of work that went into this building is truly, truly remarkable. Santa Maria La Rivera is a lively working class neighborhood with its own unique charm. It's also the home of one of our favorite cantinas, Salon Paris. <laughs> 